popsicles. How could I not? Hey everybody, welcome back to Cats and Pats. It's been a little while. Uh, coronavirus is still strong. If you can't tell, which I don't know how you could tell, uh, I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. And the hair is getting longer and longer. The Sarah like shaved the sides, but uh, we, we rocking it. It's, it's how we're living now. But yeah, Sarah and I have been home a lot. We've just been hanging out with the kitty cats, you know, loving on them and patting them and stuff. But it's gotten hotter and hotter in Virginia, like very hot. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? 97 degrees. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 106. It's hot. So I was donking around on the internet the other day and there's some advertisement for cat stuff because that's what gets advertised to me all the time on like Instagram, Facebook, everything. And it was this cat creamy product and they're like, you can get it, you can turn it into a popsicle and your cat will love it. I'm like, cat popsicles? How could I not? So this is what we're working with today. I got some via Amazon because I'm Amazoning everything right now. We got three cat creamy five packs. We got salmon here. We got seafood recipe, which I feel like salmon would be in the seafood recipe, but whatever. You do you, cat it. Then we got the old chicken and liver recipe. So from what I could tell, these are just like creamy, like, oh, they kind of remind me of Go-Gurt's, but like cat food, if you remember Go-Gurt. Uh, it looks like a tube of cat food or baby food or something. So on the cat website, it says there's six great serving options. Bond with your cat by feeding it directly from the tube, which I'm like, Okay, sure, that's, that's an option. Freeze it and make ice pops, that's us today. Serve it on a plain dish, serve it on their special dish you can buy. Use it as a topper or use it to disguise food. It's a little bit of a meme if you ask me, you're basically just giving it to your cat. But whatever, the popsicle thing, it's gonna be fun. So we got our three flavors and I asked Sarah what we had in the way of molds. So we got our nice little Easter themed Easter eggs with little designs, which I think are pretty cute. And then, we got hearts, so Valentine's, love, loving kitty cats, I don't know. It should be fun. My biggest concern right now though, so I got these in the mail the other day. These each hold five packs, but it's like, your cat can have three in a day, and they don't look like there's much uh, substance in there. So, <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna make like, two eggs and a heart or something. Uh, but we're just winging it, we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. And my second other fear is that the cat just like won't eat it and it'll just be like a melty like cat food mush that comes out. But uh, we'll see what we can do. The other reason I wanted to do this, so we have a house here, we have a garage that's like not insulated and so like the sun beats on it all day. It gets hot in there, it's like a, like a little mini oven. And I can stand out there for more than a few minutes before I start sweating, but the cats love it. I walk out there and like Moo and Lunar are just like out there. They look half dead, they're just kinda like, like a blob. I'm like, you guys want in? And I have the door, you know, where they can push it open and everything, which is probably running up my AC bill, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but no, they just, they wanna hang out there. They love it. Sometimes like little salamanders and lizards come through there and they go hunting. Like I'll walk out in the garage and they'll be like focused on one area. I know that something has come in. That was my idea. They're hot out there. We'll get them a fun popsicle. So let's see how it goes. All right, got our molds. Let's see the creamies. Okay, so like little, little go -Gurts. So Sarah said I didn't necessarily have to fill these all the way up, which makes sense. But I kind of wanted to do like a couple of each flavor for each one. Uh, so hopefully maybe two or three will be enough for each thing. And then we'll have like a, a variety pack. The uh, biggest thing is can I remember which one's which? So oh, let's see. Tear it open. Did I actually tear? I didn't tear for crack. Come on, cat it. All right. Tear open and then squeeze it up. Uh, looks like kind of looks like baby food, I guess, and a little bit like cat vomit. I'm gonna lie. So it's I don't know, kind of thick. Is that showing up in here? All right, so that's one. I didn't quite fill it up, and it's not it's not very runny at all. So I'm feeling like I might have to like blob it down or something, but I'll get it all in there first and see how we do. Maybe I could do like three for an egg and two for a heart or something. Uh, maybe they make it so it only comes out a little hole on purpose. Hey, this is filling up a little bit more. Toss in the sink, grab another one. Hey, that's kind of working. Just give it a little floppity flop. 
So I'm gonna be able to get one more in there. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera so you can see what this looks like. So this is the little tube here, and like, you can kind of see the consistency. Can I squirt this out at the same time without shooting it everywhere? See, it's kind of like, you know, thicker than applesauce, I guess, but like, not as thick as something else that's thick. But this is, so this is my third one here, and the egg is almost filled up. So I think this will work rather well. All right, I cannot do this one-handed. This is gonna, oh, oh, all right, I'm tossing the camera back. All right, is this, oh, there's my face. Uh, that's a good view. I mean, you can see, you can see the magic happen. I don't want too much in here, because then, oh man, I hope we have space in the freezer. <laughs> that's what we call not planting ahead. All right, all right, one little egg. Give it a little tap a tap. Tap a tap a tap a tap a tap. Tap a tap a tap a better. Hey Sarah Butt? Yeah. Do you normally use like a like you're gonna make the back flat? Do you use like a popsicle stick or something? Like smooth it out. I mean I guess it doesn't matter, I might just have like a, a lumpy back. Probably better to use a spoon because that's curved. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go with the Sarah spoon technique. Um I should like press it some. Maybe there's slightly too much in here. Kind of making a thick boy here. Don't judge my eggs. I'm not judging. You could do like a swirly motion. Interesting. I haven't like zoomed up on that. Spread and swirl. Can you zoom out a little bit? Hey, it's me, Jason. <laughs> okay, so Sarah said you kind of use a spoon, and maybe kind of swirly it. Oh no, it's coming off my egg. Hey, that's not. <laughs> that's not the worst. <laughs> You know what? Fine, we're just gonna stick that one. We'll leave that one D for now. All right, so three for an egg. A heart's actually a lot smaller, but they're kind of deep. We're gonna see. So, do you wanna try one, Zoe? Like, eat it? What? No! <laughs> 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 you wanna make one? I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, my hair looks greasy because I haven't washed it in a few days. Oh, well, you can just zoom up in your hands. You'll do whatever now. One heart. I can like target my spreading around a little bit. What does it like work on the ganache and like? Gosh, What's the stuff you use with cakes? Icing. The thicker stuff? Or was it fondant? That's that's really thick though, isn't it? That's like in a sheet. I guess it's probably not what it's like to work with fondant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, get this heart a little tap tap it. Uh-oh, the heart might be pretty good. It's a little less jumbly. Come on. Okay. I think this heart is going to be adorable. There we go. So I have one of each thing for each thing. How do I remember which one's which? Hopefully they'll be different colors. Okay, one set down. The chicken liver, chicken? Chicken liver recipe. Next, let's have a little seafood action. A little blue flavor, how about that? And because your boy likes to optimize, let's see if we can do a two for one and have this fail. All right, we're gonna put these ones over here in the middle. That way afterwards, if I need to know which one's which, I can. Oh, they are slightly different colors. Alright, so this is the it's blue seafood. Whew! Smells like cat food. Two for one. Boom. Alright. I think the three worked pretty well last time. Let's get this make a thick boy egg. Gotta rinse off my chicken spoon, I guess. So I don't want to cross-contaminate flavors right now, you know? See the thing is. Uh, Luna is very, very picky about what treats she eats, aka I've only found one treat type that she likes. I tried to give her some different ones today. She's like, look down at them, then look back up at me. I was like, alright, well, go back to the old eat with the goodies. So I'm kind of wondering if I make these and then Moo Moo's the only one that likes them. But also, I don't know, I don't think they've ever tried anything cold before. So, this will be a fun experiment. I'm not good at the spreading thing. Maybe just press it some. Oh, oh, that's everywhere. Mm, wow. Mm, mm. So sticky. That's what we have fingers for. Get a little messy. Two more for our heart. Heart seafood. Do you heart seafood? Oh, ugh. Okay. Perfect. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We want. Oh, enjoy. Bon appetit. Wayne Provincial? Small click. Hey, they have all the languages here, and I can't say any of them right. By all the languages, I mean like five. Well, that's a lot better than one, though, so I guess take what you can get. I think I got less out of this one, but maybe I'm just. Phew! Well, this one smells funny. Ugh. Try it out. I hope these come out. Okay, 
on to the last flavor, the salmon recipe. This is what I was talking about, the multiple languages, bon appetit, enjoy things. Kind of fun, I guess. All right, can we do the triple trifecta? Oh no. Oops. Bon appetit. Uh, if I'm real careful, Ooh, baby, this will work, not catastrophically, catastrophically. There, a little bit more on this edge. Or maybe I need a onesie twosie. Last little bit, Sally here. There we go. Okay, so that's three there. We got two more over here. Get us some salmon. Last tube going here. All right, one last evening out, slathering about. Poke easier. The top part is going to be the good looking part, right? So this doesn't matter too, too much. I just kind of want to press it in there. Nice and good. I want to have a full heart, full of love for the kittens. Okay, I guess that works. Give these a few more taps. Give these a few more taps. I am going to find a place in the freezer for these. I don't know how long it actually will take for them to freeze. So I will see you in a few hours or if in a few hours I'm tired and want to eat dinner, I'll see you tomorrow. So the hearts I try to sneak in here uh, or normally keep ice packs. And the eggs are here kind of balanced on some cashews and some like candles that are getting the wax out of. So uh, I think that should be all right. And uh, we'll see how they do. Snap, kaboom, we're here. Um, if you couldn't tell, obviously it's the next day and I've moved over a little bit. I kept them in the freezer all night long, so they're nice and frozen. Sarah came in and got some saran wrap and put it on top. Uh, that way we don't have like extra ice crystals and things. So we're going to take them out right now and see what they look like. So this is what they look like. <laughs> okay, they seem pretty frozen and hard and good. I figured I'd get one egg and one heart of one flavor and bring it to the kitties. So like today I thought I'd, I'd do chicken um, both kitties are in the garage because it's super hot, although Luna just heard me talking, I think it's coming back in now. So if you gotta go back outside. That's part of the plan. Oh. You say hi, Claire? Oh, okay, grumpy. Okay. Wow. Maybe she'll follow me back out there. So I'm gonna get, yeah. I'm gonna get an egg, get a heart. We'll see how these kitties like it. How many different layers did you... Ooh, they moved. Sarah, but let's see. You see this? Looks like it's kind of popping. Oh yeah. All right. Get the little platy plate. No. Why you guys coming back in here? Woo. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Is not not the best cat popsicle you've ever seen in your life, or the only cat popsicle you've seen in your life. Try to do a little rapidy dappity. Uh. Seems pretty good. Good enough. What do you think, Mew? See that little nose turning? Get out the hearts. What do you think, man? Just pop this out of here. Yeah. Uh-oh, kittens. This is looking pretty cute. Oh, baby. Sarah, do you want to see the kittens? Yeah, I see, I see. Okay, here's the heart one. That one's looking pretty good, I think. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little lopsided, but uh, I don't think they'll mind. I found one person on the internet that like said, Set them out till they start to sweat or something. Which I think is <laughs> as warm as it is outside, that's gonna take no time at all. Um, Moo already smells it and is looking hungrily at it. Even Luna licked her lips. I like it, Denz. Mew, are you gonna perp again? Hey, Moo. Are you excited, Moo? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice, I think. I really like the egg. Look at that, it seems so festive. Every day is Easter when you're a kitty cat. Are you excited, Mew? Hmm? <laughs> so I decided to take him outside for like 30 seconds and stick him in the sun to get him kind of like ready to go because I don't want the cats to have to sit there and like look at it. That's my problem with like ice cream. I needed to warm up a little bit, so kitties are anything like me. This will be good. Meanwhile, the kitties are inside like, uh, guys, we thought those were for us. What are you doing? We want our popsicles. All right, stay back. All right, kitties, here we go. All right, kittens. So they're not the most melty, but they're not the least melty. And like, this is day one, so we can try some different things. What do you think, Luke? 
Tu vas pas c'est con. Mais mais hein. Et qui boy? Bah I can't give you the heart cuz you're a little there. Does it smell good? Now yeah, Luna hardly ever eats treats anyway. Well, unless there are certain treats. Not really the butt food. Moo, on the other hand. Yeah, well, is it? He looks so cute. Look at him. I think we've got a winner. <laughs> What do you think, Bill? Oh my goodness. I love it. I think I lost Luna. Thank you, boy. Is it good? <laughs> Luna's is precious. I love it. Luna! Where do you get, honey? Luna's hiding underneath the car. Well, by hiding, I mean lying down underneath the car. So, we'll see how she does with hers. Maybe you might be getting all the popsicles. Mr. Popsicle Boy. He said Moo's going to town. Luna is growling at me when I offer it to her. What do you think? So that's how well that's going. Alright, what if I scoot it closer to you? See, she won't even try one lick. I'm kind of like, why don't you just try it one time? What if you decide you like it? What are you going, cute girl? Old reliable Moo. I'm kind of worried he's like, <laughs> mouth is going to get tired after a while. So this seems to be a, like a somewhat successful day one. Uh, Luna's not too much of a surprise, but like maybe she'll like the seafood. Uh, the only treat she likes is called, what is it, Ocean Surprise? I thought it was like seafood medley. Seafood medley, so that's day two, I think. So we'll keep trying. Still going to town, still sassy. Thank you, girl, there's a little heart there. Cause I heart you. Hmm. Also, this is the current temperature, and this is Moo, So I have my Google Home set to cat pictures. <laughs> okay, it's Popsicle Day 2, back for Moo. Back, back for Moo or back for more, you, you get it. I think I'm just gonna thaw out one for now and see if Luna likes it, because if not, I don't want like, to have two of these things melting here. So I'm gonna try one heart. I'm pretty sure today is the seafood medley day. If not, I can, I'll edit this. Today is the seafood medley. Perfect. So let's get a little heart and get it out in the sunshine, thawing up a little bit, and see what these kitties want to do. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that heart. Okay, so we want to try with this girl first. Hey, Flu. You're a queen. I think it's the seafood one. That's the treats you like. You just want to give it a little try? A little licky lick. Oh. <laughs> I see somebody here. Hand hey, hey, Yeah. Flu? Not too aggressive, honey. One second, man. Let's just try. Look at this. Doesn't that smell good? <laughs> One second. She says, nope. All right, Moo. Well, how do you think you'll like the seafood one today? Excited boy. He says, um... Pretty good. Moo, you're too cute. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Maybe get a little miss some treats over here. You mad at me. Well, eat up, Moo. I think they're all gonna be yours at this rate. Just came back after five minutes. You had enough, Moo? You had enough, you think? A little bit of an ice cube here. It's a little heart. All right, I guess I'll just leave it here, though, if you wanna feel any more. Hey, Popsicle Day 3 sounds good to me. Except kind of not, because uh, it's cat food. I decided to walk outside because Sarah's on a business call and I assume they did want to hear me talk about cat popsicles. But today's our third attempt. I have a egg shaped popsicle out. I, I think I like this design more because it seems, I don't know, kind of more festive and fun. Uh, this should be the salmon one, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna let it get some of the frostiness off and then try it with Luna. And when she inevit inevitably doesn't want it, Give it to uh, Mr. Moo and uh, see how happy he is. So let's go. Hello, Queen. I'm going to try to see what this is like. Hmm? What about just one leg? Can I stick my finger on it? Wait. Well, Moo, did you say it's another win? Look at that happy little face. He's like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so about 50-50 with our success. No real surprise that Luna didn't like it. She just is very particular. I gave her a couple of treats just to be like, here you go, make yourself happy. But Moo seemed to love it. 
Uh, it was extra adorable. I don't know, something about a cat with a popsicle just seems kind of fun. If you want to make them yourself, I'll do an Amazon affiliate link down below with the cat it creamy ones that I bought. As you saw, that was really simple and easy and seemed to work pretty well. But I imagine there's a ton of other DIY cat popsicle things out there if you just want to Google that and do one of your own. If you've done popsicles before, let me know down in the comments below if you have like really good recipes or something and like maybe we'll revisit this. I'm sure Moo will love any ideas that you send to me and uh, we can try it again because it's fun and it's very, very hot and doesn't seem to be getting colder anytime soon. So why not make more? But I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. I have a whole backlog of other fun kitty things. If you have any more fun ideas, leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. I hope you're doing okay wherever you are during all this quarantine and lockdown and all that sort of stuff. I hope you're safe. I hope your kitties are safe. I hope your family's safe. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.